What is up, everyone? Welcome back to yet another episode here at OR. And the thing we're going to be doing today is finally giving Poseidon the upgrade he's been needing for a while. He's not going to get his land that I wanted to give him, sadly. But you know what? I think we can make a few accommodations for what he may enjoy. And let's get started with that, shall we? What is up, everyone? I am a little bit stupid. Uh, I apparently forgot to record a little skit I decided to do where I was coming out of Poseidon's tank. But, you know what? That's fine. We'll show you what it looks like right now. Well, no, you won't. That's spoilers. Anyways, this is what Poseidon is in. There's, there's a little bitty preview. That's it. That's all you're going to get. It is a hundred in 10 gallon stock tank that we're going to be doing all this in oh let's not give you too much anyways yeah i originally had a whole skit where i was popping out of here explaining everything but this is all you're going to get for now it's 110 gallons so let's get to it now the very first thing we did was put cinder blocks under it so that it can hold all the weight that's about to be distributed underneath into it we're just going to Stand in here and see how it holds up. It's holding up relatively decent. It may need a little bit more support in the middle. But we'll see about that. Alright, now then. Turtles are still technically reptiles. So I think it's time to add some decorum into here. Not too much yet. There is some other things we want to add. The very first thing I'm going to do is add a nice center rock. And just a few more around it. Just to give it the illusion of being actually underwater. Now, African soft shell tur er, not soft shell, African side neck turtles in the wild live in rivers in Western Africa, like the Congo. And the Congo's really leafy, a little rocky and muddy. But see, I don't want to make it really muddy because, well, that can make it a little hard to clean. Or to see the guy if something ever disturbs the water. And so far I'm liking how this is going. And we're going to add a little piece of driftwood in here. You know, just some natural foliage in here. We don't have any water plants right now. So we'll make do with what we got. And that is just going to sit back there so he can swim under it. He ever does desire to. The other thing we're gonna add is a log we found. Now this will either float up or this will stay down here. But it'll be something nice to do. Yeah, I'm liking that so far. That looks nice and good. Now you might be thinking this side is barren, but that's okay because there's other work that needs to be done. Now, Poseidon is an African side neck turtle. And like all turtles, they require a basking spot because they are only semi-aquatic. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test how we like this set up. See, I think this is gonna be a bit too tall for what we're wanting. So I may try laying it down instead, but I feel like that might be too small. Anyways, we're going to lay that down. And we might have to move a few things around in here just so it all fits. Oh, almost cut my toe. Oh, and you guys fell. Oh. 
All right, so right now we're gonna have to move some things around because it is a little too tight in here for right now. And then what we got is so he can bask, get a little bit more out of the water. We got these nice little rock platforms right here. This way our boy can get out of the water fully. I think I'm gonna leave this little lip right here so he can use his feet to get up. And now it's time to put a lot of water in this. But first, there's one more thing I want to do. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna add some gravel to this. Now it doesn't need it per se, but I think it adds a little bit more aesthetically pleasing look, especially with the ones we're about to add in there. Now, I think these white rocks are going to really help him stand out, but I don't think that's going to be all. Though now it's not leaving a lot of room for diving now, is it? So we might just cut back on some rocks and only add some more where we feel like it would look best. Now I do want to add in just a little bit of pea gravel. Or river rock, actually. Just a... Add just a splash more color to this otherwise very boring setup. the white rocks either and so far I really like how all this is set up let's look yeah I'm really liking that I think that almost looks kind of natural and now it's time to fill it all up with water which is gonna take a lot of work I'm estimating at least 10 buckets so let's see how many it's gonna take shall we start the counter now So we already so we already changed something about this, right? As you saw, these pl this platform was laying down. But see, Poseidon's only four and a half inches at the shell. So only one of these will be fine for now. Until eventually we get him a better support base. I think this is what we're gonna do. Because I gotta make sure that the canister filter has enough water to actually gravity siphon like it needs to. 
So I think we're going to leave it like this. We might get rid of that platform and just have it as the bottom of the or the top of the cinder blocks as the platform. But I don't know yet. Let's get some more water in here and figure out what we're looking at before we plug in this pump to start taking care of all this nasty water. six so far probably about another six to go I forgot to record them but add two more to that list Ugh. so we're at what 40 gallons now slowly adding up now some things we want to add to this eventually is some live vegetation and maybe some guppies that Poseidon can hunt and maybe thrive in here, including some algae eaters. I hope he doesn't eat the algae eaters at least. I should help keep everything in here nice and clean. But we'll see how that goes in the future. Ugh. We'll see how it all goes in the future and see how it all plays out. thousand pounds of water right now uh, we're not even close to finish just yet all right more water So we got just got the canister filter reset up and it's currently refilling with water which means it is currently at a proper depth so now when we fill it up to the top of these we'll know it's the right amount we're gonna go ahead and take this out because it won't be necessary anymore I'm just gonna set that on the ground the only janky part about this is this is a little lopsided right here, but you know what? That's going to be okay. But I think we're going to go ahead and plug this in so that we can at least get started on taking care of it. Oh, buddy, is that thing pushing out some power this time around? Now this originally did come with the rain system set up that I might just implement anyways. So let's go ahead and unplug this and just plug that in. At least so it gets a little bit more water down. So we do, we did decide to put in the rain system. And also, it's two water heaters. So let's go ahead and add more water because we still got a little ways to go until we reach the cinder block. So it's been about 48 hours since we set this all up. I've used the one extra platform we had to make a little ramp up so he can get in on and off his basking spot without too much trouble. The water level has gone down just a smidge. 
As you can see, we've added his basking light with his UVB bulb and a little hook and anchor to the wall. This way it's nice and warm right there. In fact, 85 degrees, 86. It's not bad for a basking spot. It could be a little higher, but I'm sure we can adjust that in the future with a bigger bulb. Anyways, it is time to add Little Man. And oh my God, does he look so small. Let's... So one thing that is just slightly concerning is the fact I'm not seeing him dive. You'd think he'd have already dived underneath now that he has all this open area. But it'll be something I keep an eye on here in the foreseeable future. Definitely. Let's go ahead and adjust this. See if we can get it a little bit more on the basking spot. Nope. Okay. I'm going to be fiddling with that. Anyways, we'll come back in a little bit and check on him and make see if he manages to actually get up here, shall we? Another thing I want to do, kick the rock. I'm going to take one of these nice little aquarium test kits and see how the water quality is in here. So all you do is you take one, dip it in for about two seconds. And then just gonna lay it right here for the next 30 seconds and see how the water temper or the water quality is. Also went ahead and added a little bit of food in here. We're just gonna see if he eats it or not. But look at him do little swims. Now remember he is a rescue from us. And it's weird because I'm starting to see these lesions on his back when he's wet now. So we're probably going to have to take him to the vet and make sure he doesn't have something like shell rot or anything like that or calcium deficiency. We've only had him for about a month and he was showing okay signs, but it wasn't easy to see how, oops, I wasn't recording him. I was looking at him, but it wasn't easy to see how he was managing in that little bitty tote because he couldn't dive or anything like that. Now we got a nice big area to really keep an eye on him and see how he's doing. So yeah, we're going to probably take him to the vet here at the next week. Fun. And you know, that's just one of the joys of owning so many animals. Like you got Orion right here who's still in our kitchen because of the fact he did have scale rot. And we've had many... Uh, animals who we've had to take to the vet for multiple different reasons. I've had so many animals get sick on me. That's what happens when you have this many animals. Sometimes just one gets sick. Especially when you rescue them, you're at a like, higher likelihood of one coming to you sick than let's say if you were taking care of it the whole time. Orion is a particular case because he off and on sick every year. Lilith has never been sick, and most of the other animals that we take care of year-round have been fine. At least the ones that we've grown here at Or. But, you know, some things happen. It may have been our fault, may have been the past owner. Who knows? You know, this is my first ever turtle. And I believe I'm doing everything right. Tell me, if you know more about turtles, tell me what I can do. Tell me how I can help him if there is a way to help him. And just let me know. I'm, I'd am i be really happy to see a turtle expert actually give me some advice here. But can you believe it? We were so busy talking that we forgot to do something. That's right. We sat there talking for so long. But the old test strip... The old test trip is not really reliable anymore. And look at that. Can we focus on these colors? No? Anyways, as you can see, that center piece right there, it's not reading right. Anyways, so we've retested. And 
All you're going to do with these test strips, you're going to take the back of the bottle. And you're going to and you're going to hold the strip up to it. See where about you lie. Let's see. Does anyone know how to get rid of KH? So we're going to be needing a water change here soon already. But the pH looked good. Yeah, the pH is good. But the other things, yeah, we're going to probably need another water change here soon.